you think. Not that you're invincible, but you think you're healthy. You think you, you're at the prime of your life. You know, myself with my kids, my husband, and all of a sudden your world is just is torn apart. I had just tucked in the boys to sleep. I decided to exercise, so I did about 45 minutes of exercise. I took a shower, started relaxing, and I started feeling um, warm, pressure on my chest. At first I thought I had overworked, uh, worked out too soon after dinner. Didn't, I thought maybe it would just go away. Maybe about 20 minutes later or so, I started feeling pain on my, on my arms, the pressure on my chest started feeling a lot heavier. I was having a hard time breathing. Um, I was shaking, I broke out in a cold sweat. I looked in the mirror and I was gray and I figured something else has to be wrong. So I got to urgent care, told them what I was feeling. After the EKG, right away, a doctor saw me and told me that I was having a heart attack. I was shocked. It was, it's the whole thing is, is, is kind of surreal. How does, how does a woman who's in her 30s, you know, how, how is that possible? She's having a heart attack. An ambulance did take me to a major hospital here in the Twin Cities. The emergency room doctor came to me and said that he did not believe I was having a heart attack, that my EKG showed that it was abnormal, but that could be my normal. I was clear from the hospital being told that I had acid reflux. Nine months later to the T, but I was at work and all of a sudden I started having that chest pain again. They did EKGs and before I know it, I had a cardiologist and interventionalist coming in and saying I was going straight to the cath lab because I was having a big heart attack at the time. I was already told once it was in my heart, so it couldn't be my heart this second time around. I just felt like it's just the world fell apart. You know, I, it couldn't be me. I, that couldn't be happening to me. I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it out alive from that experience. So um, she didn't have a regular heart attack based on plaque buildup. She had a, something called a spontaneous coronary artery dissection. She got lucky the first time that it didn't close off completely. So what they found the first time around or while well, he was doing that procedure is that I had had a spontaneous coronary artery dissection, which is when one of the layers of your artery tears. And that layer um, from the blood flow, the pressure of the blood flow, that layer blocks the artery, hence causing the heart attack. No family history of any kind of heart disease. I didn't fit the profile of, you know, your coronary artery disease patient of having high blood pressure, cholesterol, none of that. And in fact, that was one of the reasons they dismissed my, my heart being an issue the first time around. They don't know what caused it to this day. My biggest fear uh, since, this, since this happened is that it could happen again. Most of the information that we have on SCAD is we get in post-mortem. So now I'm part of a research study through the Mayo Clinic to try to figure out what causes this. At the time of my heart attack, I could say that I had heard and knew that heart disease was the number one killer of women. Um, but I, because it was not, it had not happened to me, and it had not happened to anybody close to me. Um, it was just something I knew, but nothing that I took action towards. Be aware of the heart attack symptoms. Trust your instinct, and if something doesn't feel right, get checked out. I think as women, sometimes we 
tend to put it off, and, and I know I did the first time around. It gives you a whole new perspective in life. It really does. Um, it's all about the little moments now. Enjoying every minute I have with my kids, um, with my husband, valuing family, remembering that every night to say the I love you's because I don't know what tomorrow will bring. And being thankful every day, every day for another day, really. Just hold on to my hand And please follow me Cause I'll be there whenever you need Thank you for all your help.